And the thing I like most about being a physiotherapist is uh, just helping people walk through their, their goals and their rehab, uh, their rehab stages. I really enjoy the fact that I get to talk to people uh, on a daily basis. Um, I always knew from a young age when I was 18 picking my profession that I, I didn't want to sit in front of a computer 9 to 5, just, just couldn't do it. I do have to use a computer still with this job, but uh, I don't have to do it full time, so that's great. Um, I also get to like, it's like problem solving. I like to kind of come in and be a bit of a detective and kind of figure out what's the root cause of somebody's problem. Um, I don't believe in like relying on analgesics for short term fixes. So I believe conservative management for many, many different injuries is much more important. Um, than, than just a quick fix in the doctor's office. And why did you become a physiotherapist? Um, I was involved in lots of sports from a young age. I played uh, hurling, which is an Irish sport, uh, one of the fastest field sports in the world, actually. Um, I broke, played rugby as well, played soccer, tennis, every sport you could think of, probably too much actually, because I got injured on uh, numerous occasions. Um, but the injury I remember the most is uh, dislocating and breaking my left elbow. Um, my ulnar nerve, which is the nerve that passes back here, got impacted and I had a bit of a tingling into my baby finger, which I found out um, later on what that was all about. But I enjoyed going to the physiotherapist and I kind of thought to myself, this would be a really nice way to actually uh, make a living out of. Um, Biology was always my favourite subject in school. I went to the west of Ireland, to a place called Galway, to do physiology. That's kind of what I majored in. Um, that's kind of looking at the body at sort of a molecular level, ions in and out of cells. Kind of complex stuff, but a little bit too micro. So I decided to do a master's in physiotherapy in Edinburgh, in Scotland. Um, so I brought it up to a macro level, and I enjoyed the whole anatomy and the fact that most of the language comes from Latin, which, which I kind of enjoy, actually. And why did you choose to work at Insync Physio? Um, I chose to work at Insync Physio because uh, it's, it's a small clinic, which I quite like. It's kind of personable. Um, you can become much more friendly as opposed to being lost in like a, a nationwide company. I worked in a nationwide company back in England and I felt like I was just a number. So here, you know, it's a lot more personal. There's physios that get together. Um, we get together once a month we sort of bounce ideas off one another and we can sort of come up with the latest research techniques, sort of investigate each other's techniques uh, and that way we can go, become um, better practitioners actually. The other thing I like about here is um, it's kind of patient centred, it's like one-on-one, -on -one. you get a lot of, it's, you build a lot of rapport, it's not just like a factory setting where you're getting clients just rush them through the door in and out, thanks for coming, it's more just like one-on-one, -on -one, 30 minutes or 45 minutes. And I like that the most, to be honest. And I can build good rapport with my clients due to that. What other outside hobbies and interests do you have? Um, my latest hobby is actually cycling. I picked up cycling at the start of this summer. Um, I love it, actually. I, I cycled the Grand Fondo. It's a race from uh, Vancouver to Whistler. It's 122 kilometers. Um, didn't take too long. I was kind of happy with my progress. Trained a little bit. Could have trained a, a little bit harder, but uh, I found a few little things that I might incorporate into my sessions with cyclists in the future. You know, a lot of core. My core was kind of grumbling early on in the race, and uh, a little bit of tingling into my left shoe as well. So I have to address that, but maybe that'll be in another video. Um, in the winter, I like to ski in the mountains. Um, there's not too many mountains in Ireland, to be honest, so I only picked that up four years ago when I came over here. Um, started to do a few little jumps, which is uh, I'm pretty impressed with after three years. A um, bit of an adrenaline junkie, like the speed, even though I know the injuries involved with that as well, so that's kind of uh, that's kind of funny as well. But I play hurling as well, but I kind of gave that up about two years ago. That's that fast sport I was telling you, kind of like a cross between lacrosse and field hockey. But uh, lots of injuries in that too, but I hope to get back into that in the Irish community as well. So. What's your special interest or focus in treatment? Um, my special focus in treatment is, is mainly just educating the, the, the patients on their diagnosis, timelines, never keeping them in the dark, but also mainly got to do with like pain modulation. Um, you know, people use medication like I spoke about earlier, I just don't think that's, that's just a quick fix and the doctor's just getting you out of the office in, in a two minute consult. Um, we do a lot more hands-on mobility. Um, nerve flossing, other techniques to kind of desensitize pain and different different methods of pain modalities. I've heard a lot of bad stories about people just being put in a room and put on electrical machines and just forgotten about. That's not how I work. I kind of do a bit of a combined method. 
maybe some machine work, maybe some hands-on mobility, and then lots of strength and conditioning as well. Most of the research basically goes for strength and conditioning once the acute and subacute stages have settled. So that's kind of where I, I'd be going. Education and pain modulation is by far the most important thing. And not relying on analgesics and surgeries if we can avoid them. And are there certain uh, types of injuries that you're more drawn to treating? Um, yeah, particularly interesting uh, in the shoulder uh, and the knee. They're, they're my, more so my speciality. I enjoy that. Um, there's lots of shoulder injuries in, in many, many sports because you're sacrificing a, a mobility for stability. So that's pretty enjoyable to me. Um, sometimes the neck as well. You get a lot of sensation down into the fingers for different reasons. Anywhere sort of in the upper quadrant, I, I kind of like.